So we've been here for about an hour, and we've gathered a decent amount of data, and it's safe to say the habitable atmosphere thing is completely debunked. Sorry. Well, I knew this was gonna happen, but that was my only bet. Wait, what? Wait, where's PJ? Oh. <laughs> I dared him to go outside for 20 minutes to see how long he could bear the heat. But wait, what? Ro, what the hell? Oh, hey, that rhymes. Dude, it's like almost a thousand degrees out there. How would you let him out there? Wait, what was the bet? Ten bucks. And where's the ten bucks? Uh. Okay, forget the bet. Is he even alive? I don't see him. Uh. Oh, God! <laughs> PJ, are you okay? <laughs> Kelly, what are you saying? I'm dying! <laughs> yeah, we need to get him in before he suffocates. <gasps> Does anybody have cold water or something? Oh, right. Uh, I do have a pack in the back. Uh, let me get a bottle for you. Thanks, Caden. Oh, hey everyone. Welcome back to a new episode. We So, we've landed on Venus, one of the places in our solar system we will talk about for this episode. And I was about to set up an interview for the subjects for this video before someone dared me to risk my own life for 10 measly bucks! And he bought it! Anyways, you got the bucks? Uh, nah. <sighs> so, what do we do? Well, there is a nearby cave from where we are, so I can try to explore that. But we're gonna have to have stronger suits because of the hostile environment. So what are we doing for the exploration? Uh, I'll probably take a rock sample and bring it back for study, you know? Well, time to go back, man! The Earth is just one of our many stops across the solar system, and it gets bigger and bigger the further we go out. And if we were to venture out and go further beyond it, we would find more and more celestial bodies. Let's start with one of the closest planets to us and see what they have in store for us. Oh my! Hello! What's this? You're on screen. Your husband and daughter already introduced themselves, so do you think you can give it a shot by sharing facts and stuff? Oh, okay. My name is Venus, and I'm the second planet from the Sun, being only 67 million miles. And despite being second closest, I'm both the brightest and hottest planet in the solar system. Both of which, due to my toxic and cloudy atmosphere, mainly composed of carbon dioxide, which is able to trap in the sun's heat, making me have a surface temperature of over nearly 900 degrees Fahrenheit. My atmosphere is also highly reflective as well, making me the third brightest object in the night sky, and the brightest planet in the solar system. I'm often referred to as Earth's twin planet as we are similar in size despite being smaller than Earth. But as you can see, we are nothing alike at all. After all, we aren't siblings. Aside from my atmosphere, I also have sulfuric acid rain which never touches my surface due to the heat, volcanic activity, and crushing atmosphere pressures akin to being a kilometer deep underwater. I neither have rings, a magnetic field, nor a moon of my own. I take 225 Earth days for one year around the sun, which is surprisingly shorter than my 243 Earth day rotation, which explains my lack of a magnetic field. I also rotate in retrograde, or the opposite direction to that of Earth's rotation. I'm one of only two planets that does this. Despite me being bright, I still find it funny I was named after the goddess of love and beauty because of that, since I'm literally hotter than hell. <laughs> uh oh, sugar, slow down! <laughs> Mom, you know how much I love going fast. I know, Mercury, but you're always so accident prone. Oh, look what we have here! Hey, who's that? I'm here for facts about the solar system. Would you like to introduce yourself, little guy? Oh, okay. My name is Mercury, and I'm the smallest and closest planet to the sun. I take about 88 Earth days to go wherever the sun wants, and 59 days to one location around my axis. 
Like my mom, I have no need in my history school job. And the very center mostly airs out with them, leaving me vulnerable to content I put in fact, being destroyed behind my heavily credited surface. My life is not clear, obviously, while I get really hot at day and very cold at night. That's making me the second hot plan in the solar system. Being so fast in my orbit, but to zoom in in the after a moment, I seem to be dark. As far as I am, I do have a pretty large support in my side. Also, due to my slow spin, I was thought to be tightly locked up the moon, meaning I was thought to have one side facing towards the sun. I thought we were moving to work, but of course, this was the bomb. Okay, Mom, I'm done. Gotta go! Oh, wait up, sugar! Oh, sorry. He always likes to go fast. Anyways, I'm going to go. Bye! Okay, now that Venus and Mercury have introduced themselves, we now must move to the closest, important, and only star we have. The Sun! Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello, Sun. Glad you're here. Have anything to explain about yourself? Well, sure. Well, for one, I'm the largest and hottest object in the whole solar system, and the source of gravity to keep everything in orbit. I guess you could say I'm the center of attention. By mass, I make up 99.8% of the solar system's mass, being able to fit more than 900 Earths inside of me. Like him, I'm also divided into layers of hot and active plasma, with my core being over 27 million degrees Fahrenheit, or 15 million degrees Celsius. Due to the process of nuclear fusion, this is the source of all light, heat, and energy for not only Earth himself, but to the whole solar system as well. Above the core is the radiative and convection zones. The radiative zone is where heat energy radiates out from my core, and the convection zone is where my plasma moves around being pulled in and pushed back up, hence the name. The surface is simply a million degrees and features sunspots, which are cooler areas, and sun flares and prominences, and of course there's my corona or my atmosphere. This is seen during solar eclipses. Now before I leave, I should advise using protection when out, since you know, skin damage and blindness. Anyways, bye! Huh! I never knew that Venus had caves. Well, I guess it is possible. Check this out. Shadow puppets, look what I can do. <laughs> oh hey, let me try. Bailey! Oh, wait, let me fix that. That's even worse! Okay, forget the puppets. Let's just go back. This place was a mistake. Uh, Kateser, what's going on? Wait, doesn't Venus also have, like, a certain kind of geologic activity? RUN! ASTROTRON! <laughs> quick, quick, start the engine! Yeah, screw this, we're leaving! was too close. Hey, uh, PJ, I'm sorry that I dared you to do something dangerous for something I didn't have. It's alright, we all make mistakes. So where to next? Well, there's Mars. Hopefully it's not as dangerous as Venus. Well, let's not lose hope. We got a whole system to explore. I wonder how long this will be.